it can be get difficult to get students involved in politics and social issues, but one high school class in Arizona is taking it upon themselves to change that. I took a trip to Flagstaff earlier this week to learn more about how some students are using art as a means for activism. Talking politics can be messy, but showing another person your beliefs can be more harmonious. Janice Hennis, a teacher at Flagstaff Arts and Leadership Academy, believes that art is a great means for activism. Everyone is coming with a lot of passionate issues, from women's issues to gender to climate justice to immigration. Hennis sees herself as a facilitator of the high school class rather than an educator because of the way she tries to bring everyone's ideas together. I think it's a great process for our students being a leadership academy for them to have a space where they can actually um, practice democracy and make things kind of happen by working collaboratively. I'm trying to talk about topics like uh, DAPL and um, Black Lives Matter and the election. Some of the projects that this class has worked on include Chairs for Change, which involves redesigning chairs and then auctioning them off. Through this, they raised $5,000 for girls' education. This is like the, the artists who really are making change, and it's a really cool group to work with. They also work on recycling projects to raise awareness on waste and are now working on pieces for the Northern Arizona Nasty Women Art Show. Several students are creating 12 by 12 pieces of work around women's issues, which will then be auctioned off to raise money for the American Civil Liberties Union. Art initially can be more approachable for anybody. Anybody can come up and confront a piece, and I think it also has the um, possibility of being more revelatory because you can like approach this piece of art, like approach a piece of art. The students said that one of the greatest parts of this class is seeing the impact that their work can have on the community and beyond.